go. There we go. Get up in the morning time, making biscuits. Get up in the middle of a new day, biscuits. Look at that. It's beautiful. Not in too deep either. This right here, we can plant again. That's a head. And a lot there. How rich that soil is right there. I wonder it's so big. Look at that. Looks like there was a burn pile here at some point. Oh yeah. There. Come on. Oh. like a yam digger to me. Mm, still pretty strong. There we go. There's a big rock right in here, and there's a root that's going right past the edge of this dam and pinning it in the ground. We're not in Florida sand anymore. I used to dig these up by taking the garden hose and then running them at the base and just kind of washing all the sand away around it and then pulling the whole yam out to get 20. 30 pound yams that way. There's there's my root right there. It's a big root. I'm gonna have to get some dynamite. I'm trying to 
could do this without smashing the yam. Oh my goodness, that's a problem. The yam goes sideways underneath the root. It's a big root right here. And the yam is going right underneath it. I might just yank this whole thing out and see. See if I can yank it. And if it breaks, it breaks. Oh man. There we go, I found the edge of it. Right underneath that root. I like these Mora knives. Got this one from Marjorie at the Grow Network. She sent it to me, isn't that sweet? Baby, I'm amazed the way you love me all. Come on. Oh yeah, there we go. Cool thing about yams is you burn as many calories digging them as you get from eating them. We lost some of it. You can see there's quite a bit of yam here, but look, there's a big piece left in the ground. <sighs> Boy. Now if I just leave that there, it will grow back. Make a brand new yam there. Deeper and deeper than the other one. Probably never dig it. But I could always tell myself I was just replanting instead of being lazy. The reason this thing is so hard to do is because it's out here in the wild. It's self-planted. They're made to be planted. You plant them in your garden, you can control the soil. You can get a nice loose spot. Oh, so much yam still in there, look at that. You can get a nice loose spot. One of the coolest ways to grow it is to just put it in a big pot uh, or uh, a big grow bag or something. I'm just gonna cut this piece out of here and say I'm done because the calories expended are too high. There's a justification here, can't justify it. But if you grow them in cultivation, you don't have the problem of giant tree roots running underneath them or giant rocks being in the way. It's really cool if you've got a grow bag or something, you can just like turn around and dump the thing out at the end of the season. And pour it on the ground and you've got one big gigantic yam. Come on. Oh boy! <laughs> ridiculous Is the ice cream truck what am I doing with the yam I'm gonna go get some ice cream I went to see David yeah. David the Good We listened to Portis Head And drank Spiced Rum If you like these kind of painful and drawn out videos I encourage you to subscribe. My goal for the year is to hit 100,000 subscribers, so you can also tell all your friends to subscribe too. I'm sure they would greatly enjoy more videos just like the one you watched. He's better than the amps. But don't tell nature. <laughs>